Hey guys, um, so here's where we're at. We got this all back together, looking like a legitimate violin. So here is our next task, neck and fingerboard. We're gonna to get it ready and attach it to this thing. So uh, the first thing you gotta realize is when we get, um, when we attach one of these necks to it, we actually have to, it's kind of recessed into this right here. So first thing I wanna do, Try to center it. Here's what it. Let's go. Right here. Just making a little reference mark. That way I can center it. Situate it up here. Alright, so it's centered, so that's going to be good. Then I'm going to take my pencil here. I'm going to kind of trace the angle so what we have here you can see that's where I'm going to be placing this neck okay so the next thing I'm going to do is let me grab my oh right here all right so the easiest way for me to start doing this recess here is right right here where that top lip is I'm going to use my little saw and I'm going to kind of make lines all the way down here and then I'll start chipping away at them, and then I'll be using these guys to kind of create this little pocket for this thing to sit in. So uh, I'm going to get started on that. And once I got the, the pocket done, I will show you guys, and then the only thing left to do with it is to put the neck back on. So uh, I'll be back with you in a few minutes. Hey guys, and we're back. It took a little bit more than a few minutes because I was really trying to get it as tight as I could fit. So if you look right here. You can see we actually hollowed out this space following those guidelines and I always like to bring it right back past uh, the inlay purfling here is that is that's the black line you see go that went all the way across here and then I mean it's just error on the side of caution and remove it's always easier to remove more than it is to remove too much and try to have to scramble to find solutions so then once I get this in here once I get it seated the way I want to, I will measure, I'll extend this out, and I'll measure that distance uh, from that projected fingerboard all the way down, and it's got, it's 27, 27 millimeters, I'm going to double check before I do it, but I'm fairly certain it's that, and then once it fits there as well as I like it to, and, it, and I can get it in that way, then I will put a clamp here, and then I typically like to use corks, but I'll... There we go. Right, so this is this is just a whole cork, and this is a little bit too big. So what I typically do, and I just can't find it right here, but I'll slice this down the middle, and then I will put it up underneath here, which that way you can make very small adjustments to get that projected height exactly the way you wanted. And I'll keep it there. Once I clamp it down, I have a clamp that I made specifically for this that clamps on the bottom here, and then has a spot that goes over here and then I will have this underneath to, to keep it where I want it to until it dries. So I'm going to um, just double check my measurements and then I'm going to clamp it up. I'll show you that and then that will be good to go. See you guys back here in a couple of minutes. All right, we got it all here. I made this little clamp that's got a, a curved action to, uh, you know, basically cup on top of that fingerboard and it clamps it against this bottom part and you can see under here that I start basically, I clamp it down and see where the fingerboard is, and if I need it to raise up just a bit, I'll slowly move this, I cut the cork in half and in here, slowly move it forward until I got 27 inches from this line to here, and this will dry overnight, and then um, I'll take the fingerboard back off before we start uh, going through and starting the varnish process. So have a good week, and I'll see you guys later.